Um, so yeah, I mean, since day one, kind of, you know, since the New Japan AEW relationship was kind of on ice, you know, when once you know the elite guys kind of had had exited New Japan, and there was kind of a worry of like how things are going to go forward and how are they going to move forward. And our president at the time kind of didn't really see the potential in maybe working with AEW. You know, we already had had partners in ROH and CMLL, so you know, like maybe they were thinking like, well. You know, let's see how this AEW thing turns out before jumping into it, you know, so we don't offend our partners. And, you know, obviously those guys had left ROH too. So like it was, it was a very messy, complicated situation. Uh, so now, you know, jumping forward to, you know, I would say what about a year and a half ago uh, when Kenny called me and, uh, and had, you know, pitched the idea of, of, you know, kind of opening the doors a little bit. Obviously Moxie was still kind of working with New Japan and Jericho was as well. But, um, but you know, the Kenny and the Bucks were obviously a pivotal, important part of New Japan prior to AEW. And so, you know, with that, and they're EVPs, so, you know, they hold quite a bit of power. So uh, not wanting to, to, you know, just forget about them completely, we had to kind of like open the relationship and, and Kenny kind of opened that, you know, and said, hey, you know, I, I, I have this idea of working, you know, Kenta coming into AEW and working with Moxie since they already had a storyline. And that's kind of where everything started. And, uh, you know, going forward, I've kind of always been like in between AEW and New Japan uh, since that day. And uh, so it just continued on when we started talking about this, you know, this Forbidden Door show and what it could be and possibly be. Then I just went back and forth between AEW and New Japan and, and, and tried to be uh sensible and then try to be the one that to kind of communicate how everybody you know what the ideas were but also like sentiment and just kind of like what uh you know overall what what the show needed whether it be like hey we need more of this or we need more of this or hey let's not forget about like american fans like this or you know japanese fans we we need to cater to them this way you know kind of like really trying to break that down 